boy run. I didn't think that was gonna happen this morning. We got in here a little bit late, later than we should have. Uh, we are trying to utilize cover and come around the, the lek this morning so that we stay undetected as we moved in. And you know, as you see for the sage grouse, our cover is even less than it was with the sharp tails. Taking that longer path, it proved to be a little <laughs> bit more work. And I, for one, overdressed for the morning. Oh, I did too. Cause we, we thought it was gonna be like it was yesterday morning. You know, it is uh, uh, very, very cold yesterday morning. So I overdressed and we, what we ended up doing is creating a big sweat bath and steam. And so I actually had a lot of problem this morning with my viewfinder fogging up from the steam coming up out of my shirt. And I know better than to actually breathe on my viewfinder because that, that has messed me up pretty, pretty good over the years. But, um, but yeah, it was, uh, <laughs> it was a tough morning, but it really turned out to be a fantastic shoot. It was, I, my hope every time that I go out is that I'll be able to see something that I've never seen before. And today we were very fortunate in not only to see the courtship ritual of these grouse, but to actually witness a pair of breeding. Right. Doug, like I'm actually surprised we had as good a morning as we did as the, the wind picked up. Sometimes these birds will just hunker down and, and go ahead and seek shelter, but they continue to display for us and it was a tremendous morning. Yeah, it, was, it really was. This is this has been spectacular. You know, both the sharp tail and the sage grouse. Now I can't tell you which one is my favorite because they both have very unique characteristics and the way they display during their, their breeding process. So, uh, but this is this has been spectacular. I use I have a 500 millimeter lens with a crop camera. It gives me 800 millimeters uh, with 1.6 crop, and then if you add a 1.4 teleconverter onto that, you're over a thousand millimeters. So. Right especially with a subject like the sage grouse where you want to use caution. Right. It gives you the opportunity to increase your distance from that bird. Right. They are a very sensitive species and we again I can't we can't stress it enough. You you've got to be careful when you're dealing with birds like this. I mean they're on the decline and we don't want to be the cause of any of any more of that. Um, however it is very worthwhile effort to record these behaviors before they're gone, possibly. Um, Absolutely. And we also talked about taking extra effort to conceal yourself properly. Um, not only does that allow you to get better shots, but it, it keeps the birds at ease as well. And you know you've done your job properly in concealment if the animal approaches you to a very close distance. And if that happens, you know, if the bird gets really close and you know he's too close for you to even get a shot of him, don't even try. You know, don't even attempt to do that because if a bird is just a few feet in front of you, you're not going to be able to get a shot that close with a lens set up and a camera set up like this. So any movement to even attempt something like that is just going to spook the bird and, and, and cause him, you know, undue stress. But, you know, we had some uh, with the sharp tails right up behind us that had walked up right behind us. We could hear them. We didn't dare turn and try to look at them, but we could hear them just a few feet behind us. And just by sitting still, we just let them do their thing. And they actually eventually came around and joined the rest of the group. Absolutely. Yeah, it was, it was great to just be able to sit and listen to that, even knowing that there was no opportunity for, right. for a right. shot there. Well, Ron, the birds have moved on to cover now. I think it's time for us to maybe get a cup of coffee. Sounds great, Doc. I'm on my breeding lack. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, son of a. Right on a cactus. Uh, you can cut it. Oh, everything's asleep. <laughs> oh, girl, you ain't gonna believe what that dude going for you. Mm-hmm.